Although some language enthusiasts argue that Arabic is losing popularity among the younger generation. Most of my Arab friends say it is their favorite informal way to communicate online and via SMS but what about letters that don't have an English equivalent? If you've learned these letters, you've probably had trouble pronouncing them, which is perfectly normal since the phonetics of English and Arabic are very different. Daniela Cantillo is a language enthusiast who speaks Spanish, English, French, Portuguese and Arabic. I highly recommend learning the Arabic alphabet if you want to understand the true essence of the language. But why not try to correspond with your Arabic speaking friends as a local Arabizi is your friend. For example, suppose you want to send a friend a message asking him to come to your house. Arabizi is the Arabic alphabet for conversation, used mostly by young Arabs for digital communication. You've seen how Arabic words can be understood when written in the Latin alphabet. If it seems a little incomprehensible at first, that's perfectly normal it's called Arabizi. By reading the words in their standard alphabet, you can also learn to pronounce the words better. Imagine you are hungry and want to go out to dinner with friends. But it is also important to know Arabizi because it is very popular on the internet.